All right, I love this story. NASA will slam a spacecraft into an asteroid. And no, this is not a new movie. This is the real thing happening today. And the hope is that what we will learn will one day save the Earth from a catastrophic impact. Joining us now is DART Deputy Mechanical Engineer Lisa Wu. And Lisa, thank you so much for your time here today. I'm fascinated by this. You're talking to um, a much older kid now who, as a much younger kid, used to watch all the Apollo moonshots. So um, this is just fascinating to me. And DART stands for Double Asteroid Redirection Test. Essentially, what you're trying to do here is move an asteroid, asteroid off course, right? That is correct. Uh, the double asteroid redirection test. I do want to emphasize that it is a test, so there is no harm before, during, or after this test. And we are essentially taking the DART spacecraft and testing kinetic impact, which is one of the techniques for planetary defense. Mm -hmm. So today at 7.14 Eastern PM time, we will be hitting the smaller of the two asteroids. So it is a binary system. You have the larger one, and the smaller one. Our target is a smaller one to hit the smaller one and redirect its orbit around the bigger one. Now the spacecraft is really about the size of a kitchen refrigerator and the asteroid is about what, 11 billion pounds here? So, so, so what's the strategy? I'm fascinated by this about how you're <laughs> gonna hit that little object way out there in the middle of space. Of course, uh, so for size reference, the spacecraft is roughly the size of a smart car and the little asteroid is roughly the size of the pyramid. So we are moving, we dart, we are moving at four miles per second. Mm. So you heard that right. We're going really, really fast. And wow. on board, we have a technology called SmartNav, which is the, the brain of the spacecraft. And we have the Draco telescope, which is the, the eye. And together, those two will be working together to target this smaller asteroid, hit it, and redirect it. Now, Lisa, are there cameras on board? Will we be able to see this impact? Yes, so the Draco telescope is also a camera and will be providing photos back the entire time until it unfortunately will hit and explode. Um, there is a CubeSat that was on board the DART spacecraft. It la launched about two weeks ago from deployed from the dark spacecraft um, and it will be taking pictures of the impact oh so we'll be able to see the impact and the trajectory of the asteroid around the bigger asteroid in theory correct correct so after the impact that's really when the science starts mm. um, so there will be a lot of telescopes on earth that will be observing the impact so um, the change around the larger asteroid it is about a 12 hour period. That will now change to roughly 11 hours, 50 minutes. So it's a small little bump, but from here, we will be able to observe it. And in a few days, we will be able to confirm that we did indeed change the trajectory. Okay, you emphasized right off the top that this is an experiment. What happens Correct. if you miss? Correct. This is an experiment, um, we have over a 90% chance of hitting. Our scientists and our engineers have done so many models and simulations to prepare exactly for today. So we are very confident that we will hit our target. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be fascinating to watch later on tonight. And again, 6.15 central time is when you think this is all gonna take place. It's gonna be right in the middle of our newscast. So those of you watching this morning, we will be updating you throughout the news later tonight. Dart yes. Deputy Mechanical Engineer Lisa Wu, thank you so much for spending time with us here today. Deeply appreciate it. Thank you it. for having me. All right. Best wishes to you later on tonight.